Hi, welcome back to my channel. Anything goes with Bella. I just got back from work, so na isip ko since I'm preparing our dinner for tonight, she share ko sa inyo the menu for tonight, which is called beef stroganoff served on a bed of pasta. So pisan na natin. Let's start. Of course, so that we don't get dirty in the kitchen, we're going to put the apron. Welcome to Bella's kitchen! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to show you the ingredients that I will be using for tonight's beef stroganoff menu. Let's start! As you can see, I'm boiling some pasta noodles. The brand that I'm using is San Remo and I've chosen the thin spaghetti noodles. What I did is I boiled some water, put some oil in it, and when started to boil, I placed the noodles in. Every once in a while, I will stir the noodles to make sure that they don't stick together. So these are the thin spaghetti noodles. So there, I'll just wait until the pasta becomes al dente or until it's cooked. So earlier, I have already cooked my thin spaghetti pasta. What we're going to need is some beef sirloin, but I've got the eye fillet beef portion of the meat. And then I slice one big bulb of white onion. Then I also have one bulb of garlic. So I minced it. I cut the bula chicken cream. I also have the Dijon mustard. And that little thing there is the beef broth. I also have some 500 grams sliced mushrooms. I have cornstarch, parmesan cheese, and some chives that I cut into little pieces from my garden, of course. And we're not forgetting the butter. I think that's all the ingredients that I have. Let's start cooking. Right now, I'm heating up the pan and I put some oil in it. We are going to sear the eye fillet beef steak. So I'll start putting the eye fillet beef steak. Do not overcrowd the meat in the pan so that the cooking will be even. Only one layer. Once it turns brown, then you can put it aside and put on a plate. So this is how the beef looks like once you finish searing it. On the same pan, we're going to put 2 tablespoons of butter. Don't put the fire too much on high. Medium fire lang siya dapat. So now we're going to put the mushroom. We really love mushrooms, so I'm going to put a lot. So let's put them all. Also going to put the onions. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to produce some water or juice, and the mushrooms start to wilt. We now have to put the garlic. Also, our beef bouillon. If you don't have that, then you can also have or you can put some beef broth. By adding beef broth, it adds flavor into the beef stroganoff menu or recipe. Now you can put your corn flour or cornstarch. This will help thicken the sauce. And then we're going to put the thickened cream. I'm going to put some salt just and add some black pepper. A 
I will add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Also my Parmesan cheese. Starting to smell so good. Now I'm going to add my the seared beef I feel a steak. And then add my chives. It really pays to have an herb garden because when you're cooking something like this, it's really easy to put or add some fresh herbs in your cooking, which makes the dish really taste more delicious. So now I'm going to taste it to see if it's good. It's so good. I wish you could taste this. I hope you can also try and cook this at your place and make your family happy. Lalo na na sa mga mamshis chan, try cooking this dish and you'll make your kids happy. Ganun na rin yung sa mga habis niyo. So there, as you can see, very messy na yung kitchen dahil sa pagluluto. I hope you really like watching my channel. So like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment down below. Until then, I'll see you in a heartbeat.